away, we will go for uh, another region of the upper limb. That is Now hand when you have considered it is the region, the one which is the extending form, the what that of the wrist joint to the what that of the tip of each fingers or the digits. So that part is said to be as a hand. Now this hand includes the some important things. So those are the, this is what is said to be as a front part or the anterior view. Now either the anterior view or the posterior view. So you have to be what that hand consists of. Hand consists of from the wrist to this portion is called the hand in front. Now from this to this is the hand. But the remaining portion from this to this, here and this, considered to be as digits. So a hand includes these two subdivisions. Now if you see the hand, the skin of the hand, rather going to the what? Skin. The skin of the hand is the what? that part, the one which is continued from front, the skin of the front of the wrist. As this skin of the hand runs further down towards the digits, that will be going to become as the skin of the digit of palmar aspect of the hand. The skin of the hand as it runs towards medially it will be going to become as the skin of the ulnar aspect of the hand or the ulnar crease of the hand. The skin of the body that the hand as it runs towards laterally, it will be going to become as a, the skin of that of the you can say radial aspect of the hand and then further correspondingly to the what medial and lateral extensions of the what digits. But the important features of the body that of the skin of the front of the hand is not same as that of the skin of the other or elsewhere in the other regions in the upper limb as well as the what other parts of the body. The skin of the hand is completely that what anterior aspect of the hand that the palmar aspect is completely devoid of. Completely smooth, and the skin of the hand 
fun aspect shows many you can say wrinkles many wrinkles and the skill of the water that of the primary aspect of the digits which is a part of the water hand that also shows so many you can see creases skin creases now those skin creases are they because of when the baby is in the fetus it will be folded its hand and uh, means as well as the digits because of that the formation will be there one second there are fine you will can say skin folds so the skin creases they are also appearing on the front part of the skin of the hand that is the feature where you will be going to get because of the flexing of those joints of the fingers and of the what a uh, hand when the you can say individual is present in the fetus of the mother's womb it is fetal position gives the these wrinkles maybe these are very much important from the other aspects especially the astrology when you ask her astrology they will be having the some different ideas so medically these are the things that we have found then the what hand exhibits front part of the hand exhibits there is a big eminence now this eminence is thena thena eminence related to the thumb and there will be a what one more where you can say eminence this eminence is the hypo thena eminence and there will be a what a central depression for the hand that is the central part of the central part of the hand so this is the thing and the thumb is called as the pollex there will be a what to index middle finger ring finger little finger is called as a digiti minimi means small finger so these are the things related to the water definitely the skin of the palmar aspect of the hand after going to the water skin now you have to go to the water skin of the water dorsum of the hand the skin of the dorsum of the hand it is continuous from the skin of the posterior aspect of the wrist from above the skin of the hand at its posterior aspect as it descends further down it becomes as the what skin of the posterior surface of the digits like man of the front but the skin of the dorsum of the hand or the posterior aspect of the hand contains the what many hair follicles like in the elsewhere part of the what posterior aspect of the what upper limb now the skin of the posterior aspect of the hand is very much freely moveable this is because of the what the skin is very much loosely attached to the what underlying structures as well as the next structure to the skin in the what dorsum of the hand contains the what uh, 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 rich amount of the what areolar tissues and it is not adherent to the what underlying the fascia so that it is not very much tightly adherent so this is what the thing you will be having because of that you will be going to get the things where freely movement of the what free movement of the skin of the what the dorsum of the hand now so this is what now after having had this skin now you have to go to the what superficial superficial fascia now the superficial 
facial facial of the hand is the one or the one which is continuing from above that to in front the water superficial facial of the front aspect of the wrist and as well as the water front part of the forearm the superficial facial of the hand as it for the distance down it will be going to become as the water superficial facial of the digits for the thumb for the index for the middle for the ring and the little as well the superficial facial of the water palm of the hand as it runs towards the lateral it will be going to become as the water superficial facial of the lateral aspect of the hand of the thinner part and thereby descends further and becomes at the superficial facial of the lateral aspect of the thumb as well as the medial aspect of the thumb the same pattern will be going to continue further down for the what index middle ring and the little towards laterally and then medially also for the what fingers it continues in the same pattern and becomes as the superficial facial of the medial aspect of the index middle and the ring as well as the little finger the skin of the water hand as it runs towards medially it will be going to become as the water medial aspect of uh, that of the hand that is the thinner hypothenar portion or the ulnar crease there but the superficial facial of the hand consists of consists of a very much rich amount of the water that of the fibrous and as well as the port it is very much tightly adherent to the underlying structures such as the deficiency of the palmar aspect of the hand that is called as palmar fascia and this superficial fascia and the deficiency where it will be going to tightly adherent there it contains a amount of the fat as well as the good fibrous tissues so it is very much for there will be a no moment in the palmar aspect of the hand when the pressed and moved the skin of the palmar aspect of the hand because of this particular evidence then the superficial tissue of the water the arson of the hand or the posterior aspect of the hand it is continuing from above the water that of the superficial fascia of the back aspect of the wrist and the superficial fascia of the back aspect of the forearm further it descends down and then continues as the posterior superficial fascia of the posterior aspect of the thumb index mid ring and the little fingers so this is what in the same manner the superficial fascia of the hand as it runs towards laterally and medially it will be going to become as the what superficial fascia of the lateral aspect of the hand and the medial aspect of the hand and thereby in the same pattern the what medial and lateral aspects of thumb index and the middle ring and the little finger as well so this is what the superficial fascia but the peculiarity of the superficial fascia of the dorsum of the hand contains the abundant amount of the air areola tissue so thereby the skin of the water superficial fascia and the skin of the back aspect of the hand moves very much freely and it is completely devoid of here superficial fascia. is devoid of devoid of fat there is no fat in that so it will be moving so because this thing it is very difficult to find the what the superficial dorsal venous sept of the what at the time when you will be putting the ivs intravenous you cannot get the what that of the superficial veins of the dorsal aspect of the hand or the dorsal venous sept of the hand so easily even though if you will be getting those will be moving 
or rolling in the earth. Dorsal aspect of the hand, it is very difficult. Okay. So then after having had this, now you have to go to the water defacing. The defacing of the what hand is the one of the one which is continued from front, from above. The defacia of the what front aspect of the forearm and defacia of the front aspect of the wrist, which is said to be as the flexor, flexor retina. Further it descends, further it descends in the water that of the hand and continues as the water very much thick on the part, very much thick on the part. As the water centrally very thick on the front part. of the palmar aspect of the hand or of the palmar fascia, it further runs over the what visits, continuing as, continuing as digital fascia for the thumb, for the index, for the middle, for the ring, for the little, and then it will be going to run immediately and laterally to the what digits for the thumb for the index, for the middle, for the ring and the little, continuing as the water digital fascia of the lateral and of the medial aspect of the corresponding digits. So like that pattern, the fascia of the hand, which is said to be as a palmar fascia, But the deficiency of the water dorsal aspect of the hand, it is a definitely it is a continuum from the water deficiency of the back aspect of the forearm, that is the antibrachial fascia, and the extensor retinaculum. Dorsal aspect of the deep fascia of the hand and then dorsal aspects of each digits, lateral to medial is a thumb, index, middle, ring and the little, it will be continuing. But at the tip of the water dorsal aspect of each digits, it has been gone in towards the bed of the water nail bed of the nail. There it ends. But the same is not true for defacia of the front aspect of the digits. It will be going to end cover the tip of all the digits for the digital fascia. That is the main thing. So this will be the what deep fascia. So deep fascia for the explanation purpose you will be having a water that of the palmar fascia. Now this palmar fascia is dividing into what the central part which is bit thick. This is what is said to be as 3A for your understanding purpose. Then this will be the water 3B, thinner fascia. 
Then uh, this will be the word 3C. 40 watt. You are explaining, understanding purpose, hypothenar fascia, which is said to be as the what? Modified part of the what? Palmar fascia. Then, there will be a one more. This thing. D of digital fascia. Now, this digital fascia may be the what? 3. D you can put it. Then, uh, this will be the what? D fascia of the dorsum of and as usually. So, this will be the thing where you will be going to reach into that. With having all these things, now this is the fascia which will be there central part palmar aponeurosis it is almost sort of triangular as you see as you see it has got the word to that of the base this is the base So palmar aponeurosis is nothing but it is the thickened part of central part of palm or fascia of the hand. Now this as being it is a triangular, it has got the base and it has got the apex.
Pamaraponeurosis, but both are thin and delicate, which will be covering the what hypothenus, I mean to say uh, hypothenar and the thinner contents, which are there in the hypothenar compartment and the water thinner compartment, especially the muscles, vessels and the nerves. That will be going to cover by these thinner and the hypothenar fascias. But the question, palmar aponeurosis covers the entire central part of the content of the central compartment of the hand. So this is the thing. Now, this palmar aponeurosis, this palmar aponeurosis, considering that this is the palmar aponeurosis, in front, it is related to the what that is the skin eh? superficial patient fat cutaneous nerves cutaneous nerves cutaneous vessels in that vessel Apart from this, you will be having other things, 
in uh, and branches of and branches of ulnar nerve in hand so this is what the posterior relief now for the primary polynosis this you can say medial lateral border and the medial border as they run towards the laterally and medially they will be going to form the what definitely the thinner and the hypothenar fasciae but when i will be running behind this lateral intervals lateral where you can say border it forms the one septa now that septa is the lateral intermuscular septa which is running behind from the lateral border and attaches to the water that is the periosteum of the water carpal and the periosteum of the metacarpal bones then uh, you will be going to have the water medial border of the water that of the palmar aponeurosis as it runs towards uh, behind it will be going to run and gets attached to the water carpal as well as the what metacarpal bone and the periosteum of that and then it will be going to form the medial intermuscular septum so thereby in the hand you will be going to get the water three compartment now this compartment is the lateral compartment known as the water thinner compartment and this one is part of the hypothenar compartment hypothenar compartment which will be the set to be as a medial compartment and this one which will be there as a water central compartment which is mainly covered by the water that of the palmar aponeurosis palmar aponeurosis so this will be the thing it will be having now when we have dealt the water the fascia of the hand there only we have finished this you can say palmar upon neurosis in its detail part so thereby applied anatomy of the water that of the primary upon neurosis applied anatomy of palmar upon neurosis is shortening of medial to tendon slip shortening of medial to tendon slip is known as dumputrin contraction dumputrin contraction so that shortened thing if you relieve that shortening by meaning or by doing the upon neuroraphe so once again that shortening will be going to get released and then these you can say two tendon slips which have been contracted and giving rise to what flexion of the medial two fingers that can be released that is called the dumputrin contraction applied anatomy of palmar aponeurosis so after having had listened this especially the hand the hand is meant for to hold any tools or any materials which will be helpful for day to day work in the life of a person so with this i will be going to finish about the hand 
especially the skin how it is the superficial fascia how it is how it will be get differ from front back and that uh, not only with the skin and the superficial fascia in those regions and also the defacia of the water hand especially the front part and the back part and then i had complete i completed here in my talk regarding the water that of the palmer apo neurosis in detail right from where it is what it is and because of that of the palmer apo neurosis and its border the water that of the medial intramuscular septum lateral intramuscular septum forms and attaches back to the water periosteum of the carpal bones and metacarpal bones giving rise to a water three compartments in the hand lateral compartment medial compartment they are called respectively as thena compartment lateral medial is the water hypothenar compartment and the one which will be known as central compartment of the hand or intermediate compartment of hand or you can say it as a middle compartment middle compartment of hand and the applied anatomy of that of the palmar aponeurosis known as a dubutyl contraction how that contracted medial two fingers it can be done by upon neurorhaphis then to release that contraction and then apart from that the what relation of the palmar aponeurosis has been talked palmar aponeurosis is very much important for the what that of in the examination especially for five marks so with this up till the what palmar aponeurosis for formation of the palmar aponeurosis is over then in our my next class i will be going to tell what are the you can say contents of thenar compartment content of hypothenar compartment content of the middle compartment or central compartment or the intermediate compartment of the hand and uh, this is what we will be going to deal in on my next class till then bye and thank you for hearing the talk on hand